Hello, friends. Dr. Nitro and Aid Bomb Custom Workshop here. Today I came to the workshop to make some more additional silk screen frames. Here I bought some boards, and I thought I would file and drill, and then I remembered that I have one wonderful device in my backpack, and I plan to use it in one interesting experiment. Somehow I thought that it'd be nice to fix the resonance of the finished guitar and then compare it with the reference one. What is better, what is worse, how the guitar sounds that is not connected, but how exactly the wood sounds. Because I feel it with my hands, I feel it with my body, we all feel this way. But to convey this information to the listener on YouTube, it is very difficult and incomprehensible. So, one fine day, I went to my friend Alexander, who made amplifiers for me. An interesting person with an interesting vision of circuitry, and he does amazing things, incredible things. Yeah, it does sound like Telecaster. Listen, can you make some kind of piezo pickup that would be able to sample the wood for a guitar, to record and analyze it all? And he tells me that I have such a pickup, I can give it to you. Great! So I took it, and check out this device. This device is made by the Swiss company Schertler. Here is a magnetic pickup for acoustic guitars. In fact, it's a pickup. It's a passive one. Now this company, as far as I know, does not produce passive ones, but this is the only one left. My friend found it somewhere, dug it up, terribly expensive. Here in this jar, for him, there is such a special thing. It looks like a photographic one for photographers who attach all sorts of things there. It leaves no traces, and with this we will attach it to the deck. Here just an XLR plug, and it just fits. It fits right here in my recorder. I already tried to record, played a little on the guitar, and it's very interesting. In different places, in different ways, a little bit, the sound is distributed. And these guys, they know exactly how it happens. Here's a file made of cardboard here how to mount this nag eraser and where it can be attached to an acoustic guitar. To the bridge, over here, over here in these places. Well, it's clear that this place immediately picks up the fast resonance from the bridge. And here too. While rosewood or ebony filters some frequencies, in this place, remember the drum, the loudest resonance, resonance waves pass, and in this place as well. And now we will try it all. I haven't tried it yet with the guitar plugged in as it picks up the sound from the amp and plays it back into the wood. It will be also very interesting and we will definitely try it. So now we will proceed to doing this experiment. So, 
we get our pickup. I immediately connect it to the first channel. I already have everything set up. Gain uh, to the six. It's like how I usually record my voice. So we take a piece of this neck eraser. It's a viscous gum that looks like chewing gum. And we make a ring. This ring is mounted here. The center, it should probably touch the deck. I think so. Because this time is still a sensitive output of the magnet. Okay. Does it pick up the sound? One, two, one, two, one, two. To me, that even from this side, it catches waves better. You can use it like a stethoscope. Well, let's attach it as the manufacturers show us. Well, that's an interesting place. Let's try it some other way. As I understand it, the most interesting places are right here. Let's do it here. There is even more bass here. This is the place I really like. This is where vibration from the neck gathers and returns from the bridge. And this is where the most intense resonance occurs. Do you hear? Interesting, very interesting spot. What do you think it will sound 
Here. I'll say right away that it's going to be loud. Because here, the vibration is the most intense, but it is bass. Even clips will probably lower it by a quarter. Even by five. This effect brings us to the idea that each type of wood filters its own frequencies. We heard here on the top of the deck that there are quite a lot of high frequencies. And here and here. Because maple is a very hard wood, and this wood conducts high frequencies well. Why do we need mahogany then? We need it in order to keep low frequencies. And let's try to place the microphone. Well, let's go here first, on the back side, where we had a microphone for the first time. That's... At six, as it was. I would say even here, the mass is smaller. Let's go to the very end. That's interesting. And near the neck. Right here. Interesting. So, where else can I place it? Maybe right here? This place is going to be amazing. Gorgeous. I like this one the most. very strong attack is felt and even the attack of the strings is drowned out by this iron one. Do you still hear? Loudly, loudly. It would be nice to mute it with something, but I have nothing. Maybe with a rag. Doesn't matter.
Let's go to all the, all the places. Here we have a nag razor installed. Right here in the center. Near the neck. We haven't tried this spot yet. On five. Yeah, here of course, on the reverse side, to the serial number. Well, I think the best place for it is here. The most adequate sound, well, it seems to me. Move it to six. You can even move it closer to the edge. Let's turn on the amp now. You will probably hear the amplifier through the guitar. Interesting. Interesting. In my headphones, everything is so mixed up. The sound from the outside is also here. Well, I think it was a very interesting experiment. This microphone will help me further analyze the frequency filtering in each place of the guitar, in every place of the last ball. 
And I think with it, it will be easier to listen to the wood even before the selection of the blanks. Maybe even today in the workshop, I will have a paintable Les Paul. And soon we're going to have videos with an airbrush and nitro varnish. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Go to my Patreon, where I post a very detailed built paint and relic guitar videos. And now I say goodbye to you. But not for long. Rock and roll throw.